is a pinnacle for so many people. The players, the coaches, even officials work their entire life to get to the big game. <laughs> Any little boy who ever picks up a football is thinking oh, about yeah. playing in the you Super Bowl, it. right? But it is hard enough to make the NFL even harder to stay, as Valley resident Shannon Easton found out as the NFL's first female official. Here's Mark McClune. Hello, this is Shannon. Chances are you've seen Shannon Easton's work. She's in charge of scheduling officials at sporting events all over Arizona. The very first high school game I did at the varsity level was Mary Val Trevor Brown. So uh, that was pretty fun. Shannon's officiating story started on Friday nights in Arizona and ended on Sundays in the NFL. At that time, there was a lot of media attention. My phone was ringing continuously. I wasn't really much into Facebook, but I did deactivate my account because it, it was full, but once I stepped on the field, it was like I could finally breathe. Shannon had been officiating college games. She finally got the NFL call during a 2012 labor dispute between the NFL and its officials and made history as the first female to work an NFL game. It just shows how big the players are or how small I am, and so many people from that game just came up to me and just said congratulations. You know, told me, hey, I have a daughter, and it's just great, great to see you out here. They were called replacement refs, but she received compliments from numerous coaches and other officials about her work. But a botched call in a game she wasn't working, known as the Fail Mary, ended the replacement ref story and Shannon's NFL dream. Is, is the term black ball fair? Um, I think so. I, I, that's what everybody else calls it, you know. Every college official I talk to, they, they just, um, you know, we, we received letters saying don't do it. When I told my supervisor, he's like, what are you doing? He's like, you can get there without this. I said, I understand that, but I've been trying to get there for a long time without this, and it's just time for me to either do it and prove myself or just find a new direction. The fact that she had crossed the union cost her dearly. Jobs were harder to find despite her credentials. I believe that no matter how many people didn't like what I did, I challenged them to say that I didn't prove myself because watching film, I believe I did. Shannon returned to college football, but after a while, she needed a new path. So she started her company back home in Arizona. These days, she's content to schedule and try to make a difference on and off the field. Probably the thing I would say right now that I'm the most proud of is I'm proud of our officials in Arizona. Every other year, Arizona officials that work for me and they work a couple games and they don't get paid and they donate all the money back to me so that I can buy teddy bears and puppy dogs um, that say Arizona sports officials, a family who cares. There's so many people that even a tiny little teddy bear could make a difference in somebody's life. Uh, you can still see Shannon officiating around the valley from time to time as she schedules herself in to stay sharp. And her next project is to write a book about her experiences of being the first NFL female official. I'm Mark McClune for Arizona's Family.